coming to the new slide that is problem identification for diagnosis procedure using machine learning theories so there are three columns mentioned over here one is the data collection the second one is the artificial feature extractions and the third one is the health state recognitions now the data collection in which consists of just i zoom it employ sensor to collect data such as vibration acoustic emission instantaneous speed current the sensors which is used to collect the data is deployed here for gathering the data from the various operations now the artificial feature extraction that is the extracted features can be seen in this diagram it is extract some commonly used feature from the collected data by using time domain analysis frequency domain analysis time frequency domain analysis and so on so here in this figure the particular pattern is given in which the data is spreaded over here and if you want the time domain related data that only can be extracted using this old data sets that can be excellent here that is xppv having some sort of starting points and the x minimum is deviations here and x max is here means the whole one single pattern is recognized and that feature extracted data can be used to further operations and that sensitive that extracted features can be simplified here again that is a sensitive feature that is we call this is a in class using a triangular pattern and in class using circle pattern that is the incentive features this is called sensitive features sensitive features versus incentive features this is the sensitive features and sensitive features explanation for the data acquisition or data extracted from the extracted features now here we can see that select sensitive feature from the extracted feature by filter such as relief m rmr and de wrapper such as lvm embedded method such as l1 and l2 regularization so the artificial feature extraction is also use sensitive features and insensitive features to extract the data now coming to the health state recognition here we can see the feature 1 that is a fault b and feature 2 that is a fault a the input sensitive feature to traditional machine learning best model such as expert system ann svm etc this is how the diagnostic procedure using machine learning theory is work now coming to the next slides the framework to the early fault detection method in this is framework for early fault detection system suppose there is a one gear box and we would like to predict the which gear is going to be get demolish while running the gear while the gear box in running condition that can be predicted with the help of this early fault detection method and using machine learning method that framework can be defined here so step 1 is the collect vibration signal in long term running that means for particular uh, gear box supposed to be run for the server amount of time and server instances so we will collect that data and we will know this is this is the standardized pattern or this is the standardized data while that gear box is keep running now step 2 frame sliding small steps is just recognize the pattern how the small steps occur whether it is a discontinuous continuous whether there is similar pattern is broken in somewhere this will indicate that the pattern is still breaking step 3 is the training and testing data sets 
here you can see this is step 3 you can learn the data patterns when if something is failure occurred now the data pattern is changed signal transmission emission is changed so this is the training in data sets you can see here up to that step 4 is VPN layer sparse auto encoders deep learning features so plot that data into the xy plane and try to use neural networks to identify which fault is created by which so try to correlate all the parameters to each other with the help of the auto encoders so deep learning features can be plotted here and uh, later on non impulsive responses and impulsive responses can be spread it out and it, uh, means that means if particular uh, pattern is appear note down that particular appear that is a non impulsive response an impulsive response means that is a reactive to other reactions means that will if part is keep starting wearing tearing now that is give another type of signals and if it is in continuous motion it will give another type of signal so it is a impulsive or not impulsive responses after that dynamic identification so we can plot with the help of the identification algorithm the identification results can be plotted with the help of the what we call that is numbers or pixels and that graphs can be seen here so the identification of the results using identification of algorithms can be plotted here so, so it's a dynamic identification step number six and the step number seven is a health indicator so it is widely used to found out that the how much your healthy is gear drive while doing this kind of all operations so this is the health indicator so how the machine learning is used framework of the early fault detection methods